Township has to go the length of the floor, down one. Narkowitz to inbound. We'll see Heights kind of backing off right here. Narkowitz looking. Gets it in for Burns. Burns drives. Burns! Does it count? Does it count? I don't know. No signal. I don't know. Wow. They're counting it. Counting. They are counting it. Township has won it. Township has won it. Tad, I don't think Heights thought that Burns would be able to go the length of the floor and like he's done this entire game, knifes through everybody and gets the game-winning basket in an unbelievable finish. We do not have the benefit of replay as we watch this live, but Kevin, that is about as close as you can get by the time he let that go. And the one thing about it, Tad, it's not like he got the ball at half court. No. Got the ball way back, and I'm thinking, man, he's going to have to shoot something. Maybe he'd be lucky to get a three-point shot, but kept going and just knifed through everybody. And like you said, that was really close, but was able to drain, bury it, and come away with uh, the most unbelievable finish that we've had, I know, in the five years that we've been doing games. And, and it's hard for me, Kevin, from the naked eye, I thought the buzzer went off first, but the referees waited, they ran to the bench, they made their call, and what we'll do, we'll come back with Burns after the game as at the buzzer in double overtime, Haddon Township wins it 60 to 59. We'll be back with the post game show in a moment. 